Oh, what's up, my derps? It's your boy, Gregolis, and you know what it is. It's D&D &D, D &D &D Sunday. Holy smokes, that's a mouthful. And as you can all see, we have a big special guest here. It is Mr. Epic Fail. Rude. She's called him big. Yeah, because his, his, <laughs> uh, his skills are so large, and his... Um, Whatever, I'm like falling apart here. <laughs> You're digging yourself in there, yeah, Greg. Yeah, well, this is just awkward. Him over. Uh, listen, uh, we know that uh, there were a bunch of people that showed up on our Instagram for the Epic Fail giveaway. We have to thank Jeff Watson for giving this incredible. You want to you want to put it up there? This incredible uh, homemade resin notebook, perfect for taking D D and D notes or your D and D notes. I mean, you know, I like to be biased here. <laughs> it looks great. Jeff is here to actually give this away. So, Jeff, if you want to uh, jump into how this is all going to work and uh, and take it away, do your Vanna White. My Vanna White, perfect. So, yes, thanks, Greg. Uh, so, right here. This is what we're going to be raffling off. Um, we've listed all your names uh, for those who have entered. Um, I'm just going to jump over there now. Yeah, I got to say, I was really impressed with how many people we had entered. We had over 50 entries in total, which was like just that blew my mind. Yeah, we actually had 59 entries. 59 um, entries. Holy smokes. So they're all listed here. So scroll here. That's scroll a lot down of entries. For those that are watching. Hold on a second. I don't know why that's not showing up on the uh, stream there. It's, uh, it's, it's our first giveaway, folks. Don't worry about there it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So we'll scroll back up to the top here. We'll scroll down. We have all 59 entries here. And uh, so how's that going to work? So you've got everything laid out in the spreadsheet. You're going to use a random number generator, one yeah, through 59. Over here on the left here, I got a random number generator. I've listed the minimum as one to the maximum of 59. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit generate. It's going to spit out a number and the corresponding number will be our winner. Ah, very cool. All right. Well, let's All right, have we've got it. a countdown here. You can give me a countdown. Yeah, let's do it in three, two, one. The anticipation's killing we me. We have 43. 43 is the number. Let's see the corresponding. And name. 43 is Bro, Jay's 43. Tabletop. Jay's Congratulations, tabletop. Jay's Tabletop. Um, great congratulations, guys. Jay's I've, Tabletop. Uh, you can now um, so yeah, count how many times. Oh, we're, we're over talking to each other here a bit. Sorry, oh, Jeff. Damn. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, I just said I've uh, mentioned I've uh, talked with him on several occasions. Watch his Tabletop chat. Uh, great guy. Go give him uh, a follow. Yeah, um, definitely go get him, give him a follow. It's at Jay's underscore Tabletop on Instagram, and he is a really cool dude. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. Jeff, do you want to show us what you were giving away again? And uh, we'll yep, reach out sure. to them. Do we want to do maybe a a second roll just in case we need a backup here? Sure. If you want me to do a, a, just a backup roll, just in case. Just in case. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Okay. I'm going to go in three, two, one. And we have 11. 11. Okay. We're going to see who that is. That's going to be Mad DM out of Australia. Oh, very cool. So that was Mad DM out of Australia. And spell right. his Instagram. It's M A D dot D E E dot E M. That's incredible. So Mad M A D dot D E E dot E M. Mad DM. Uh, check him out on Instagram as well. He actually put in the most amount of entries. It was awesome. <laughs> he did. Congratulations. Oh, all right. Perfect. Going to follow right, him right now. Thanks I follow that. Jay's and, uh, tabletop. Let's stay in touch. Perfect. All right, Jeff. Well, thank you so much. Do you want to go back to your screen and we'll uh, and we'll say au revoir? Thank you for, uh, first of all, thank you for this incredible giveaway. Thank you for being a derp. Thank you for showing up. Also, don't forget to check out Jeff on uh, our Magic Espresso one shot. I think it was our second edition of that. Don't Correct. judge me. I'm a terrible DM. I'm no good. Uh, Peter's our Peter's our forever DM, you know? Come on now. <laughs> but uh, Jeff, thank you so much for joining in all the way from Brunswick. New Brunswick. I knew it. See, the last time I said Scotia and you got mad at me. <laughs> it's all good. We're on the East Coast, right? Yeah. Well, thanks so much, brother. We will see you later, and I hope you tune in for the rest of the show. Perfect. Thank you. Take care. Say bye, bye guys. Thanks, Jeff. Bye, bye Jeff. Bye. Bye. Thanks again. <laughs>
And now with that uh, handy dandy uh, notebook you've just won, you can uh, now count how many times uh, Borok has sighed. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can definitely count how many. You how can many count how many times Boris uh, Borok sighed. How many times uh, Wawatessi's tried to get drunk or high on flowers and alcohol? <laughs> tried, uh, how many times? Guys tried. <laughs> how many times Perry Where? has no or has licked things? Yeah, that's right for Wawatessi. How many times Perry has gathered things? And how many times Perry's put himself to sleep which is once that's all you need <laughs> <laughs> i just realized that uh, we're not counting anything griorn does should we count how many times i've told you i'm from Navigawa? well we would need we four books for that you would be I, I, for the rest of your life yeah <laughs> it's a strategic leave out the limit does not exist what? The limit does not exist. <laughs> the limit does not exist. <laughs> so listen, before we jump in, I uh, well, I have a bunch of announcements too as well. Thank you so much. First of all, for all the people in chat who came out to see the winner of the uh, Epic Fail giveaway. That's awesome. Big shout out to Vic Draws and Top Down Tabletop who have been supporting us uh, all over the place. They are on our Discord pretty heavily and, uh, you know, we're not as good at getting at being on your Discord. I know it's a give and take, ah, but we appreciate you guys showing up and supporting and we love what you guys are doing on your end um there is also some announcements to let people know that the youtube's going to be updated with some new content shortly uh wawa tessie's got another dice making episode coming up soon uh, uh peter uh, with dnd with me has got another episode coming up at the first of the month and uh, i'm jumping in to do some other content myself uh, it's going to be called cast guidance and it's uh it's basically how to play dnd from a player's point of view and less from a dm's point of view um it should be fun and exciting and uh, what else? Is there anything else going on for you guys before we jump in? Uh, so, I mean, milestone for D&D with me. Um, hit 200 subscribers, so very excited for that. But oh my God, that's awesome. Fresh, fresh content's coming over for for all of D&D with me and uh, Derpwood. Um, stay tuned. We might get some uh, the new the new fangled shorts on YouTube for the Derpwood. We're going to get them. As opposed um, to pants? <laughs> I was just going to say, can I get a pair right, of those? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. Yeah. Um, How do you guys put up with us? <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Um, actually, th there's something that's kind of important. Are, are you done there, Peter? I am, yes. It's kind of important that uh, both Ty Wilson Critz and myself, Gregless Designs, ended up wearing our incredible Wolfie and Woo shirts just like by accidents. Yeah, yours yeah, looks better. And it says, great. show me your crits, baby. Talk about it, Ty. There you go. All right, so I have this awesome show me your crits t-shirt that I finally fit into. Uh, <laughs> I also have this great ty fucking wilson coaster that i use for my little man cave here slash studio uh and i have a number of other t-shirts that uh wolfie and woo has or that i've purchased from her uh and she's also supplied a number of things for the group as well and some stickers so make sure you go give a shout out and go take a look at at wolfie and woo um on instagram and purchase some of her stuff yeah, at, all local at Wolfie and Woo. Local, local. Yeah. W O L F I E and A N D Woo. W O O. All right. So that is a lot that's happened at the start of this episode, and I think it's time to maybe jump in. Peter, are you prepared? I am. Just a little caveat: if you hear any barking or anything, that's because the little kobold, aka my dog, is she, she's she's being extra needy today. So I apologize. Um, but anyways, I'm ready to go. Are we all ready? Let's do it. We also have an Albert that is not needy. Oh, Albert looks like he's just living the life there. He's having a great day. Uh, so <laughs> the doggos of D B and B. Check it out. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now, previously on D D and D. With the group on a high after their encounter with the splitter with Splitter, the Knoll leader, they saddled up and made their way towards the base camp. Running into the war chief of the Bloodhands, Dolva, and a few of his rangers, uh, under the instructions of Borok, Dol Dolva sent the rangers back to retrieve the tribe's shaman, Torva, to investigate the anomaly found in the hovel. While waiting the night for Torva's arrival, the party encountered a knoll, trying to sneak its way away from the party. After ensnaring the knoll and questioning it, they released it back into the wastes. 
After the hatchets were buried between Borok and Perry, the team with Shaman Torva investigated the massive crystal garden being grown in the Knoll Hovel. Upon further investigation, the party discovers the body of Splitter who had disappeared. The party tracks, uh, tracks that wherever it went, it left recently. Quickly setting fire to the crystal garden and exiting the hovel, the party cast locate object on the corpse, seeing it just in time to disappear near the farming village of Post Malone. I did not come up with that name, but the blood hands <laughs> did. Um, <laughs> it's cool. It's canon. It's sitting, it is canon. So sitting atop your horses, it's about midday right now, and you're looking out onto the the Post Malone farm village, and you see a set of tents that Borok you haven't seen before. You see what seems to be a military presence that wasn't there before is there now. People are going about their business. It seems like there's a vendor coming in now with a cart. Um, as the wind blows to the east, what are you going to do? We're still uh, a ways out, are we not? Yes. Well, you're, I would say we'll you're seeing, 10, but... 10, 15 minutes away. Uh, but obviously you're in the plains. It's flat land. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, guys. How do we, uh, how do we feel like playing this? Well, I think uh, if I've learned anything, we should salt you before we do anything. All right, here we go. Back to smart ass Perry. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, yes, I think that's a good idea. But, uh, you know, are you familiar with the Commandant at all? Or are you uh, is that someone or a species that you came across much on your travels? Or are they just as new to you as they generally are for us? Oh, I've, I, I, let me let me consult my memory. <clears throat> DM. Probably please right. roll, <laughs> roll history check, please. <laughs> uh, wh why am I so proficient in history? Uh, <laughs> uh, Twenty-five. <laughs> okay, so Perry, you've spent times in the in your books, so you've done quite a bit of reading, and you, being a halfling of the Huldremian Kingdom, which is the kingdom to the north on the continent of Vemain, you know that the Komodon Dynasty is predominantly dragonborn and predominantly a very well structured. Uh, Society. Anyone who's within the dynasty is, or who's higher ranking in the dynasty, or who, whoever's a part of the army in the dynasty, is more than likely a dragonborn. Hey. Um, but I just, I mean, I just know that they're mostly dragonborns, but I think you already figured that out. And uh, they're organized. Yes. All right. Well, we'll just uh, try and keep a low profile. If I remember correctly, we didn't leave on the best terms uh, when we were back at uh, that city. The name is escaping me. Armazal. Uh, Armazal. So let's just try and keep our head down and hope nobody recognizes us. Uh, maybe okay. we just start asking them questions about this damn wild magic. I mean, we can do that. You're uh, a little more charismatic than the rest of us, so Thank do you, you want to lead off with this one? No, just no. don't tell them how many. Just don't tell them you're from Navigawa. Hey, so did you times. know that's where I'm from? <laughs> Boy, yes, I, I just said that you were. So. Oh yeah, right. Why? For those following right. along at home, please mark that down in your books. <laughs> it's the first one for the episode. <laughs> there will be a quiz at the end of the episode. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's too much pressure. Um, I don't know. I uh, I feel like if we do a full frontal assault like that, it might, we might end up in trouble. Maybe we do some scouting first. Well, I don't think there's much scouting to be done. They already see us. We're on the plains, so we just got to try and act nat natural here and right, that's, do that's our best. That's what I meant. Yeah. All right, let's just go into town and maybe see how they're mm -hmm. behaving. Yeah, uh, if they ask, we're travelers from... The Vigua. Ah, I love it. 
and uh, we're just coming through the area and I'm going to kind of cover with my shawl any markings that I might have had from the blood hands. Okay. From my, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Serape? Yeah. Poncho. Yeah. Poncho. Serape. Tomato, tomato. Badass hood thing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> while we're dizzy, you might you might want to, you know, wipe, wipe it off or clean it up. <laughs> no, not not in real life. <laughs> so, sorry, I was responding uh, to big straws on uh, the chat. <laughs> Barack just took away all his blood hand markings. Oh, okay. Why not blood hand? But I'll wipe them off. Just making sure. Okay. Well, just uh, you know, cover them up. Nah, that's all. It's, it's, we're going. We're going to try and go in here a little more incognito. All right, let's go. So, Perry, is there anything you wanted to do there? Sorry, to, if you're. I'm just gonna, you just gonna kind of just look at what uh, Griorn and Barack are doing and kind of just like copy it a little bit. You know, just okay, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, so you I'll see, cover, I'll start covering up. I'll start covering up things on on my cloak too. I'll be like, okay, yeah, all right, yeah. But you roll the up the sleeves off. on your tunic. You roll yeah. up the sleeves on your tunic to make yourself look a little bit more country, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a little bit of rock and roll. Hopefully, you don't get sunburned, Perry. Um, so walking forward, you don't see there's um. A lot of change or uh, commotion within the town. Seems like everyone's kind of go, uh, or the farm village are going in, going about their day. You see uh, a humanoid that's a little bit taller uh, than most right now, just tilling a field. Um, you see definitely now uh, three dragonborn standing by their tents in discussion. There, you can see there's a green dragonborn. Uh, two green dragonborns and one red dragonborn, uh, currently just in dis in mid discussion, and everyone's kind of going about their uh, their day. The merchant that just came in is loading up with some fruits and vegetables and uh, talking with someone. Uh, as you guys move into the town, would we would we recognize uh, like based on what we've seen with the dragonborns in terms of any kind of like ranking, if they're military or if they're not military or anything like that? Um, roll investigation. Not great. Uh, really okay. loud. That's an 11. An 11, okay. So, you do see that they are of military rank. You spent a little bit of time in... Uh, in Armazal to, to it, it would be tough to discern what their their military ranking would be with your limited knowledge on it. Okay. Um, and then my next question is uh, did we determine color of dragonborn scales matters? Uh, I don't know if there was an actual determine, uh, determination on that, okay. but there certainly is a... Do you, you want to roll maybe a nature check? Okay. Sorry about that. It's twice now. Stop it here. Oh, that's not good. Uh, three. Nope. <laughs> you know that they got different color scales. That's I'm it. From the we don't have dragonborns there very yeah, often. There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> That took me a second to figure out. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just trying to, like, I understand we're being a little paranoid, but also we need to find out what happened to uh, Splitter. Are there any wind chimes? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> roll, roll a wind chime check. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm moving in. I'm going to... Uh, uh, Barack, I think I'm gonna uh, head over to the tavern again. I, or the, is there one in this town? Uh, from what you see, there really isn't a tavern, but there are. There's a grouping of people just outside of one, uh, one kind of ramshackle half. Like I would say it's like a shed, <laughs> almost. 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna uh, they, I'm gonna I'm gonna go where the people are chilling and uh, and bypass the dragonborns completely, kind of not even looking at them, um, purposely ignoring them in case they look our way, and head over to the people. Can you roll? Are you actively trying to do this? Well, no. I mean, I'm I'm like you know not. I've just. I just wanted to describe it so that it wasn't like I was walking by looking at them because we I looked at them earlier, right? I just kind of want to go by now, not recognizing or kind of recognizing that they're military, but I don't want them to really be paying attention to me. Okay. Just you kind of blend in. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, you're like the only dwarf. Yeah. And, I'm, <laughs> and I wear very bright colors. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Um, so you, as you begin to kind of walk, are you you're ahead of the party or is everyone kind of going in together? I'm going to go with him, but I'm going to like keep my head down. Like I'm going to be staring at my feet. OK, can you roll a stealth check, please? Trying to be stealthy. Uh, oh, 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 so you're not trying to be stealthy. OK, no, I'm not trying to be stealthy. It's just because the last time we were in a town, I got in trouble. So I'm just trying to not look at anything. <laughs> Okay, so kind of like, kind of like a uh, a toddler on a on a school trip. You're yeah. following closely behind, head down. Got it. Okay, yeah. as you make your way, th- like walking in shame. <laughs> in shame. Okay. <laughs> Bo, what about you? Toddler leash. Yeah. Uh, yeah toddler leash. <laughs> it's like one of those curly ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it looks like a cute animal, but really, it's a leash. Um. Uh. Hey, Perry. Uh. Come with me. Let's go uh, see if we can find a general store or something like that. And see if we can get any information there. We'll leave them at the tavern. Right. It's just you and I today. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. So walking towards this shed, you walk into towards this shed, you, you, you see a few. Uh, it's mostly humans and uh a few uh, wood elves that are kind of standing by the shed and there's this one person just kind of pouring out something from a a uh, oh, a wooden pitcher into uh, a cup and looks at you and just says hey what can I help you do with good day travelers I am uh, the one and only Griorn Smashstone from the island of Navigawa and I have traveled quite a long way on my journey through Aslos, and I thought I would come over and see if you would be interested in uh, maybe listening to a few songs as I regale you of the gold dwarves from Navigawa. That's where I'm from. That's four. Right. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, we have many a traveler stop by here before they go on the uh, on the Bosrum path. So uh, I, I name, what, name that path again. The Bosrem Path. Spell it. He kind of looks around. He goes, uh, so you hear him whisper to someone. I don't know how to spell it. Oh. <laughs> and you see one of the wood elves come up and they go, uh, it is B O S R A M. B B O yeah. B O S R A M. Wow, Bosrum. Yeah, that's what I said. Right. Uh, and he, uh, the, the the human, bar, the human innkeep bartender, kind of just scratches his mutton chops and goes, uh, "So, I mean, if you would like to play a, a few songs, I mean, I don't mind it. You can go ahead and do it." I would love to. Have you all heard about this thing, an instrument called a steel drum or a steel pan? Uh, rightfully, I have not. I've well, seen a drum. Well, take a listen to I've this. I've seen a pan. <laughs> it interrupts and pulls the pan out and starts playing. Okay. Okay, roll performance. Okay. Uh, really, my ultimate goal here is I'm trying to carouse with a group of people and ultimately find information. Okay. <laughs> Which is something he can do, by the way. Yep. This is a, yeah. uh, a hard thing. Four. It's a Greg thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 14. Yeah, it's a Greg thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, 14. Okay. Um, what are you playing? Uh, 
Honestly, I'm just going to play like a, just a, a very jaunty, happy uh, Caribbean styled song, uh, like Calypso style music. Um, I don't have anything off the top of my head and I'm not prepared. Before the, before the tavern keeper even has a time to finish asking what a steel drum is, you sling it off your back and whip it around and it's already like, and you just do, 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 and you start going into like a, and you're like, you're quickly like just tuning like, and everyone just kind of like, uh, there's a few people, not everyone, mostly the people who are already around the, the, uh, the bar area i would the, the bar shed are are relatively interested and they kind of just lean back on the table and just listen to you play uh well, what Tessie, is there anything you want to do i'm still trying not to look at anything okay you're now you have an awkwardly tall uh elf standing beside you just head down like, while you're playing the music it's like my hands t- like uh intertwined like behind my back looking down just like trying to totally not pay attention to anything okay okay (laughs) okay now kicking around the dust on the ground just like i'll I'll stop i'll plan it out well jesse if you could uh if you wouldn't mind please uh i want to bring out some of that uh back and out rum out of the bag let's turn this into a party have any in my bag? In my bag of holding. Oh, okay. Or yep. our bag of holding. Rather. Yep, yep, sure. I, I got it. I got it. And I'm just so trying to up. turn us up here. Okay, so you, Wawa Tessie produces this uh, this rounded bottle with a, a dark liquor in it and just boom, pulls it out and starts taking the cups and starts pouring it. And uh, effectively, people are, are a little bit more d- distracted. Uh, come one, come all. Listen to Griorn Smashstone. <laughs> Griorn, as you're as you're playing, you kind of see off to the side the the smattering of tents, kind of just sitting in this little dust, like half half dust bowl, half dead grass area. And although they're not coming over to you directly, they're just watching from a distance. And you can see these two uh, these dragonborn kind of. Uh, talking to each other and just watching you as you play. Uh, now let's jump over to Perry and Orok. You now said you wanted to go and find uh, the innkeeper or, or an, inn, an inn to go to? No, uh, uh, general store provisions. Oh, okay. Um, Bo- uh, Borak, you've been here a couple times before. Um, so you know if you make your way kind of around the perimeter, you can hear off in the distance the steel drum playing, and you're maybe taking this as a cue. Um, you and Perry start to move around the perimeter, kind of near the farmlands, uh, the farm, the, the, the side of the farm there. Um, what are you doing? Let's uh, see. I, I think I know this guy in here. We do some trading with these people. Uh, let's see if yeah. I can get some information. Okay, okay great. Um, as you guys are beginning to move, you see that seven. You see a seven foot tall humanoid tilling a land, and uh, upon a closer inspection, you see he's got. Um, He's got brown fur with a long, messy beard and uh, is currently standing incredibly hunched over while like trying to till the ground. And he looks up and he goes, well, hey there. Uh, you, hey, have I, have I, have I seen you before? Would I have, would I have known this person? Um, roll, roll history. See if you remember this person. Yeah, it's natural eighteen plus one nineteen. So you do remember this person, but you don't remember their name. They are the resident Furbolg, uh, within the town. You've only seen him here. Um, you just can't recall the name right now. Well, uh, yes. Uh, sorry, my uh, friend. My 
memory is a little jaunty. I, I do forget your name, but uh, we do come and, and do some trading with this town every once in a while. I just have a few questions for you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, the name's Erlen. Nice to uh, nice to meet you. I mean, again, I mean, we've met before, but uh, uh, who's your little fellow over there? Uh, this is uh, this is Perry. He's he's uh, he's not a, a child. He's uh, he's a, 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 f- a man. Uh, he's just short. Well, nice to meet you. My name's Erlen. And he kind of leans over, but you see, you see, as he tries to lean over, he he kind of winces and he just holds on to um, his his um, tiller and just kind of goes. I'd uh, I'd bend down to give you a little bit of a handshake, but uh, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. So uh, what are you uh, what are you guys d- doing? The last time I was through here, we didn't have this much of the Commodon dynasty presence. I'm just trying to figure out what might be going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those guys, they've been uh, they've been here about they've been here about a week now. Yeah, can't. Hey. I don't know. I uh, I just keep to myself. But uh, yeah, these guys are here every now and then. And but, uh, said, sorry, you go ahead. Oh no! Hey, listen, you go ahead. Sorry. No, no, I, I insist. You, you, you go ahead. You're too kind. I, uh, you know, I wouldn't say they've been. You know, they've been. They haven't been mean or anything. I mean, I've heard stories of some of the Komodan being a little bit pushy, but these uh, these fellas, they're uh, they're okay. Uh, they got that one, you know, uh, the one that sh- she's got a uh, green scales. I don't know. And she's uh, she sees a. Uh, She's a, she's nice. She's the only one that speaks, you know, common. So uh, they, that's who she only really talks to in the town. So, yeah, that's, that's good to know. Do you, by any chance, happen to know what their numbers are? How many they have? Around, uh, or if they have ones coming in and out? Or what the movements are like? Uh, you know, they uh, mostly through the day they uh, leave and then they come back. But uh, yeah, there used to be like four of them. Now there's only three of them. So uh, I don't, uh, I don't know what happened. The other one there. The, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. There've been a lot of talking about it. They, uh, but I, I, Hey, listen, I don't run the village. I just, uh, I just farm it, you know, <laughs> you've been very helpful. Alan, I appreciate uh, your help. Erlen, Erlen, think like Erlen, you know, Erlen, Erlen. All right. It's what you breathe and then put it in later. Right. <laughs> Erlen, Erlen, Erlen. Hey, listen, listen. If you uh, if you need any help, you know, just come by, uh, come by the old uh, farmstead over here and uh, listen. I don't, mi- I don't want to get messed up in all this stuff. I, I seen you before. I know who you roll with. All right. I know. Listen, I'm cool. All right. So if you need. Uh, you know, come on by. I'm more than happy. I love uh, I love meeting people. Anyways, you know where the uh, you know where the general store is. I'll leave you alone. Yeah, uh, Erlen, when you mean your cool and that stuff, uh, obviously, like I said, you know who I'm part of. Is it a regular sentiment in the town that they want these Comodon Dynasty? people out of here or is it just kind of they're being tolerated and it is what it is uh, he kind of like stretches his back out and just goes ah you know you know there's a ton of people that come in through here there's merchants there's people who go on the path you know to go sell their wares but uh you know i don't think that they really care you know they brought their own their own supplies so they're not taking too much from us no they're not causing any trouble either uh so i think that i think they're all right with it right now but uh good to know good to know yeah 
Uh, and lastly, what is this town called again? I, I couldn't remember for the life of me. Uh, I know, you know, it's good. It's got a few names, but, uh, right now, currently it's Post Malone. <laughs> That's, yeah, God, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> that was your opportunity. Your one opportunity. To change the name? I can't. <laughs> so... Peter did preface me and tell me that he'd spelt it. It's spelt a little differently, but uh, <laughs> it is post Malone now. So M A. I, I had to get that in there. L O H N. Yeah, it is canon. <laughs> that, that is the town name. God damn it! God damn it! Um, I am beaming. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to improv, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes, had, and. Like, yes and yes <laughs> and all right uh well listen i i i can't in my right mind i can't say hey get these guys out of here i'm not a big person about you know i don't i don't roll with my tribe anymore which is you know the the fur bulks you've probably heard of them but uh uh anyways i'm yammering on i gotta go rest this leg you know it's actually hurting me quite a bit but uh uh, you know, take it easy. You know where to find me if you want to talk. All right. Well, if there anything we can do to help your leg out, seems like it's giving you quite a, an issue there. Has it been a while, or uh, you know, it's been a problem since I was a kid. So it's not a. It's really, you know, I've lived. I've lived with it. it. All right. Well, you get some rest, sir. We might come by later on, maybe around dinner time, and we can have a little more of a chat with the rest of our group. Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy. And he turns around and you hear like a, oh, because as, uh, as he turns on his on his left leg and then uh, moves toward his uh, little ramshackle farmhouse. Now, Perry, uh, Borok, is there anything you want to do before we uh, maybe switch over to the, the other the other group there for a second? I did really well, didn't I, Barack? I kept quiet and it didn't interrupt. And 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 he's not suspicious of us at all. When I get down on one knee at Perry's level and face him. Perry, you know that I do respect you, right? Oh, you're going to make me cry. All right. Well, I need to just get a one-on-one -on -one here with you. You don't have to do anything or obey or impress me. You just have to see me as uh, an individual and respect me the way I respect you. We're a team and I know that you have worth. So you don't need to try and follow me around or try and behave yourself. You just have to be a team player. That's all I ask from you. I uh I kind of and I jump and I give him a hug and I'm like, thank you so much. I respect you so much too. Oh, thank you. I really needed to hear that. <laughs> right, you can all right. All right. I'll just pat us back. Oh, yeah. there, girl. Hey there, boy. <laughs> As you, and you start to make your way towards the uh, general store. Uh, quickly jumping over to Griorn and uh, Wawatesi. Uh, Griorn, nice music change, by the way. Um, you are now nearing the end of your song, and everyone's everyone at this at this little bar shack is. Is enjoying it now. I think the the Bacchanal rum hey. is getting to them, um, and uh, you're just keep playing the song. But the once again the Komodon guard just watching from a distance, just intrigued, but not too uh, doesn't want to get in the middle of it. <clears throat> hey, well, uh, that is the story of the Gold Dwarves of Nabigawa and the Hiltoa volcano. It's a wonderful story. It's uh provides truth and fact but more importantly it mostly mentions the rum anyone else drinking let's drink i know you hear like a resounding like yeah and everyone just starts to take a few drinks back and um the the wood elf that was uh that kind of spelt out the name of the path for you for some reason uh walks up to you and they're they're a little they're a little bit off their uh, their sorts and their uh, short cut uh, black hair and kind of uh, with their tan skin walk up to you and they're like I just 
I just want to say I appreciate the. I I. I, I appreciate that you've come here to tell me this 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 story. Um, we and he grabs at his chest. He's like, we we don't get many stories around here. Just people coming in and out and in and out and just bringing things and taking things and then he points over at the the person who's loading up the vegetables right now and says see you came in here and you talked to us this guy came here picked up his stuff and he's leaving and you see the dragonborn who's sitting on the uh the cart looks just looks over and just goes this kind of just like a what the like what the hell kind of face <laughs> like and he still just keeps lo- like he's loading up and he's getting the horses ready and um yeah i i okay well listen i am a man of the people if nothing else and i like to hear other stories maybe you could explain to me more about this um boz 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 path it's a yeah. trade route yeah, the Bosrum path is the path that all all merchants take um, the, the, to go to Talrand. I spell it. He did. T A I take your time. L L. R A N D. R A N D. All right. You know, is where the that's where the emperor lives. R A N D or R A N D. R A N D. I. You know the no, emperor. There was no I. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the spirit. What was that? See. Uh, that's where the emperor's home, huh? Who's what's who's yeah, the emperor? I don't know. I'm just one of the people that works for him. You work for? You don't know who you work for? Or you? I'm confused. Uh, my name is Ohir, and he reaches his hand out to shake your hand. Oh, I take it, and I do the like, you know, Roman grasp thing, you know, like in the, yeah. the forearm to grab. He's not grabbing anything. He's got like a limp handshake right now. He's just kind of feeling the the music and kind of goes, uh, I, uh, I run things around here. I could tell that from the minute I met you, that you were the man around here. Woman around here? Yeah. Man around here. Man. I, we, we weren't, we weren't told if it was me. And I don't it's okay. But I mean, you are one handsome fella. It's okay. So, uh, well, uh, well, I have your ear. Uh, mm-hmm. Two things. Would you like another shot? And what's up with the dragonborn over there? He says, uh, I, uh, I can't possibly have another another one of, of these. Uh, fine, I'll have another one. Ah, my boy. Um, I... Uh, they came here. Uh, you mind if we go talk somewhere else? I, I'll follow. Uh, come, come. Um, and he he's, he starts like staggering off to this uh, nicer farm, uh, this nicer farmhouse with like a little walk around porch, all wood and thatched roof, and walks you in and. There's almost like a little desk set up in this this modest uh, house, and he sits down and he goes, "Okay, now we're in oh, we're in pri- privacy." Um. Uh. So there, uh, there, there was. There's been four of them that were here, and um. Well, now there's only three of them. I don't know why. Um, but uh, they obviously are here for the. They're talking a lot about the blood hands. Uh-huh. Have you heard of Have you heard of the blood hands? I uh, I I believe they're they're like a, a nomadic tribe or something in the area, right? 
Yes, yes. No, but we've had no problem with them. I can't say the same for other villages. Aye. Um, we just open lines of trade. Um, but, but, uh, the, the, um, the, uh, the, the dynasty, they don't like them. Mm. They don't like them too much. So they don't trade together, I guess. No, no. But trade is what makes the world go round. That's what I say. Exactly. And that's why I run Post Malone. Post Malone, you say? That's a funny name. Spell yeah. It. Fuck. <laughs> P-O-S-T. Aye. M-A. Aye. Apostrophe L O H N. Ah, post ma. Yes, it's an old Elvish word. I, uh, I recognize that from from long ages ago. Yes. Yes. Um. But uh, I forgot what we were talking about. I think it was the trade the, and uh, the, the, yes, uh, yes, the yes. dragon board. So oh, I, I yes. what, so they're setting up more trade here or, or they're just here. Uh, oh, no, no, they're not here to set up trade. They already have the trade routes set up. That's what the mm-hmm. balls room path is for. They just are um, more so keeping an eye on the blood hands right now. Oh, OK. Uh, yes. In my travels, I've heard uh, tales of uh, some sort of crystal or something that takes over your mind, makes you crazy. You heard anything? What? Yeah, that's what I heard. I don't know. I'm I'm from Navigawa, and this is not my home area. And I'm learning as ne- much as I can to write the stories of the people. Never heard of that. No. Okay. Well, if you do see some pink crystals, don't touch them. That's what All they right. say. I think, I think you've had too much of that <laughs> rum. Um, There's no such thing, friend. And then, uh, oh, here, reach things like maybe just have a little bit more. No, of course, of course. Yes. Walla Tessie, are you with Griorn or are you now by yourself? I'm, I'm by myself, just standing here <laughs> in the kicking okay. rocks. This is dangerous. Now, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I so I'm still just like kind of standing here with my arms like behind my back and my hands folded together, and just uh, kind of like rocking back and forth and being super awkward. And I'm gonna start like peeking upwards to try and like see the people and what's going on around me, but like. Try, trying to be like sneaky about it like not to not because I don't want anybody to see me but because I'm trying to like not get interested but I'm interested and I I'm so you're sheepishly like looking up like oh like, I want to yeah, be like, a part I'm of trying, that I'm trying to keep myself in check but at the same time like I'm pushing boundaries here <laughs> yeah like going against your baser instincts you're very much restraining yourself and I think a part of you thinks like if only Borok could see me right now um, <laughs> like he'd be so proud of me. but the, the, the thing is is you're awkwardly standing outside the shack just rocking back and forth just kicking the dust a little bit little dust clouds whip up and as you're looking up a little bit you see to the right one of the dragonborn a uh, red dragon a red scale dragonborn starts to just slowly make his way uh, over to you. Um, I'm just gonna... Just like, casually patrolling his way over. I, I, I'm just gonna go back to, like, looking down and not trying to look, because I just really want to touch him. <laughs> are you, like, so now you're actively not trying to be seen, or are you actively just like res- restraining I'm, I'm still just trying to restrain myself like <laughs> I just want to touch all these people and all of these things and I'm just trying so hard you know what do. let's uh let's make this interesting oh shit <laughs> why don't you roll a co- constitution saving throw to see if you can 
<laughs> to see if I can restrain myself. <laughs> yes. Like, it's like. I'm what? sorry, Mo. I'm Trying sorry. Hold back vomit or something. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> she runs I away. Can't do it. Like so two. I rolled the three plus two, so that's five. Oh, no. <laughs> so the the red dragonborn <laughs> isn't anywhere near you. Right it's my fault. For isn't anywhere alone. near you, and like you can see, like your your fists are kind of like starting to clench, and you're you're getting a little bit more like tense, and. Um, what do you want to touch exactly? Is there is there anything like oh the dragonborn is there? Anything? The dragonborn's he's still a little ways off. He's okay, patrolling he's, okay, casually. So is there anything yeah. that's like shiny that would catch my eye? Uh yeah, you see someone I'm has <laughs> no. <laughs> you see someone sitting, kind of like leaning, eating some food, and they have their utensils there. You can see a fork and a spoon, and the the way the sunlight hits the bowl of the spoon, it just catches your eye, and you look at it, and you immediately start to reach toward it. Yeah, and I'm going for it. You go for it. Yeah. Uh, and you just pick it up. And the guy who's like eating <laughs> As he's like, about to put it into his mouth, I just like grab it and take it. This guy who's eating like this this sloppy stew, like looks up and he has a piece of beef stuck on his uh on his fork and he goes uh, um yeah, can I uh can I help you? Oh I, I need like, that. <laughs> I'm gonna like hold the fork up to like let the sun. You have shine. a spoon. You have oh, a spoon. the spoon. Okay, I'm gonna like yeah. hold it up and so that the like sun shines on it. And I'm gonna like move it around, and then I'm gonna like sniff the fork, and then I wanna like lick it, and I just wanna. Oh God, you're going for the whole gamut. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, you pick up the spoon, and the the moment the sun catches it, you see a little like shine of light hit the dusty ground, and you start to move the you start to move uh, the the spoon around, and it you see the light start to dance, and you're even more interested. Now you move it quickly, and it goes directly into your eyes, and you're like ah, and you drop the spoon, and you pick it up again, and then you dust it off, and you now that it's closer to your face, you. <laughs> you s smell it and then you just ever so slightly put your tongue on it just like the little tip of my tongue just like <laughs> and you it's, you immediately taste like this irony you know like it's it's almost like it's almost like what you would uh when you taste blood i'm sure Wawa Tessie has tasted yes. blood before you it's like <laughs> you immediately you immediately get that like that 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 same similar taste and the guy like looks over who's still got the meat just dripping off and he's like uh, you know what you can just just, just keep that. <laughs> That's yours, man. I'm gonna like okay, so because I uh, made the connection of like it's kind of like the taste of blood type of thing. I'm gonna like shake it and be like, heck, like there's nothing coming out of this. Why? Like I'm expecting it to be like dripping with blood or something. It's not like I'm confused. <laughs> you, you, you're crouched down and you're like kind of like. One arm is on, like resting on your knee, and you shake it, and you keep like just you keep just like shaking it and shaking it and shaking it, and nothing's coming out, and you just, it just pre continues to perplex you even further. So and then and then I'm just gonna like put it into my bandolier and just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Light a hand, put it into your bandolier, and then you casually walk away. Which way are you walking? Towards the way of um, of the patrolling guard, or are you going towards the uh, where the way uh, Griorn and uh, Ohir left? Um, I'm going to go towards where Griorn was. Okay. But I'm not. And, uh, so this time, before I was like walking all like sheepishly or whatever. This time, I want to be like head held high. Like I'm proud of myself for this mm -hmm. because like I was 
I was very proud of myself for restraining myself, but I am also proud because I didn't cause any issues when I took the spoon. So I was just gonna be like walking, like head held high. I'm proud of myself, with like a little swing in my step. And I'm just gonna be like, I can't wait to tell Bo like how good I was. <laughs> Awesome. You kind of like <laughs> move towards the house and we're going to jump over to uh, Borak and Perry who have been waiting patiently. Thank you. Thank you, gang. As you get closer, uh, you're now on the uh, bow. You would remember this pretty frequently is like um, a storefront, like almost think of like an old Western style storefront. You walk up, there's a little bit of a wood platform there and there's barrels filled with uh you know, various adventuring supplies, some actually some uh, nuts and some dried berries. And you walk in and you see the um, the, the human female um, uh, jo Joanne. You would usually deal with Joanne and uh, she comes in. You see you see her. She's uh, got long, uh, long gray hair and is wearing almost uh, just a pretty pretty long dress that kind of trails on the floor but it's plain colors and looks up and she goes well bo i haven't seen you in a while how are you sweetheart uh, uh um i'm really really well how how are you oh i'm fine you know just day to day yeah you look great as uh, always Bo sounds flustered what's going on oh, here bo. <laughs> You always know how to cheer me up. What can I do for you today? Well, uh, you know, we're just passing through town. And... Hold on. Hold on. Who is that? She points directly at Perry. Uh, this is my friend, Perry. You. What? Bless my soul. Pa Perry? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Kind of double take, look at Bo, and like I just take a step forward, and hey, she comes. She comes out from behind the counter, and she to you is is a tall, like portly woman, and she and she kind of kneels down and looks at you, and you can see like all the wrinkles in her face, and she goes, "I'm sorry for asking, sweetheart, but I, I, I've never, I've, ne I've never met, I've never met someone like you. Are you?" Are you a halfling? Uh, yes. Yes, I, I am. Yes. Get out! No! <laughs> Bo, are you... Bo, are you pulling one on me? No, no, ma'am. This is Perry. Uh, like I said, I, it, you know, it's... It, where he's from, that that's... It, it, he's a, re a regular person, so let's not treat him, you know, any, any differently around here. Before right? you can even finish that, she picks Perry up and sits, oh, him, no. on the, <laughs> um, sits him on the... Uh, on the, um, the, the, the storefront and goes... Oh, just... You're just so cute, and just grabs your grabs a little bit of your mustache and just twirls it. Is this uh, is this real? Oh no, oh, no! This is what I was afraid yes. of. Uh, oh, goodness. Um, wait. Perry, are Hold you on. okay? I'm I'm good. Hold on, I know what to do here. I'm uh, I'm going to put out the uh, talking doll. <laughs> oh my god, he's bringing it out. And I'm going to I'm just going to look at it for a second, and it's going to say hello. <laughs> and I'm just like. like as she's like twirling your mustache, you reach into your bag and just ever so slightly just come in between her and you with the doll and you just like squeeze it and you hear, hello. <laughs> and then it just like deflates back down and she goes, well, is that your little friend there, Perry? Oh no. You carry that around? It's, it's my little, it, I have, I don't know. I, I managed to pick it up in my little adventure and it, it says things too. Yeah, and I squeezed it again and reach for the sky. Oh, she reaches her hand up. She's like, oh my goodness. This is too much. This is too much. Where are you from, little buddy? Um, from, uh, I'm from the island of Navikua. It's, uh, Navikua? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a great place. There's mountains and stones there. Did you take Rocks. a boat here? I mean, not I, here. You didn't take a boat all the way into the plains here, but did you take a boat? 
from here. That's <laughs> no, because Navigua is an island, and that and that's wh- and I try to imitate uh, a Griorn and go, and that's where I'm from. And uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, full performance check, please. <laughs> Bo, Bo is just sitting like he's that's just totally, taking a seat, totally knowing <laughs> knowing this is gonna be a while. <laughs> so. uh, I rolled a seventeen. <laughs> Plus one with my with my ring that I have on, so eighteen. Not that Joanne would really know, but Bo, you catch this impression of Griorn, and it's not that bad. It's it's pretty it's pretty spot on. It's a little higher pitched, but it's it's there. It's there, and yeah. you just see. You just see, <laughs> you see uh, Joanne looking at you, and like she's almost like. I want to say less than a hand's width away from you, and you oh, can goodness. see her just like looking you up and down. She's like, "You are just the most darling thing I've ever seen." Uh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, Bo, what do you want? What well, do you want I, here? I can come back tomorrow if you, you know, want to. Oh, good. Hang out with Perry for a little bit longer. No, no, oh, no, no, no. <sighs> Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we're just looking for some supplies and and maybe some information regarding the Comedon Dynasty regulars that seem to be in town here. She kind of turns around now, not not now that she's not looking directly at Perry, and like just almost like rests up beside him and goes, uh, "Well, anything you want for thank you, for, thank you for bringing me my new friend Perry." I thought you would enjoy his presence, although I was a little afraid uh, of the reaction. But now that we can get down to business, uh, we had a, there was a man that also came through here, or possibly came through here, that would have looked like, and I'll give her this, this, the description of the person that I saw, rough description of the person I saw with the goggles um, that stole the body. Right, so you you once again, you didn't see the you didn't see the bot, the description of the person. You only saw like oh. a floating corpse of Splitter. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought I saw someone carrying Splitter. Alright, my bad. Yeah, because you cast Locate Object and it was like, All you right. only see uh, so, I mean, if you want to like retroact, like if you saw anyone weird or anything like that, you, you let me know. You tell yeah. Me. Uh, uh, well, I guess that was he's obviously they were uh, invisible. So, uh, listen, we're we're trying to figure out some things here, and uh, uh, what are these soldiers doing in town? Were there ever more of them? Did they ever say why they were here? Are they looking for me or us? Um, suddenly the the, the beaming smile on Joanne's face kind of drops down to a more serious look, and she goes, um. Well, oh, you know, uh, well, you know why they're here, right? They're definitely not uh, too keen on the blood hands. And as she's saying that she's just like playing with a little curl on Perry's, <laughs> Perry's head. <laughs> uh, I know they're not. And I was hoping that we'd be able to hold them off a little longer than this. It seems they're encroaching closer and closer. Listen, from the from the merchants that come in here through through Talrand and then all the way up they go up into the Holdramian kingdom to trade but I hear things and you know what they are they are mighty fierce about getting a lot of things under control I don't want to say they want to get rid of people but they want to get things under control you understand what I'm saying sadly know what you are saying and I yeah. was hoping we'd have a little more time before that had to come to fruition, but I guess it is what it is. <sighs> Bo, I'll be honest with you. I don't know. These people, uh, these these uh, these dragonborn that are here in this here, the guards, they're okay people. You know, they're not they're not causing a lot of issues. That's good. They're, they're just here to... They're just here on orders. I don't plan on killing them. I just want to maybe question them a little bit and see what's 
the situation is. I heard there is a green one that's been mucking around that yeah. might not be yeah. here anymore. She'd be, I assume, the leader of this contingent. Uh, yeah, that's uh, her name's Shakar. Uh, Shakar. Yeah, they have uh, they have one of them fancy, uh, you know, like titles before it. It's it's uh, Arvin Shakar. Uh, that's what she always re- introduces herself. She don't speak that well, Calman though. Uh, Do any of them? Uh, well, she speaks a little bit of Calman. Uh, rest of them, they don't speak. They don't speak a lick of it. All right, good to know. You said something Shakar. What was that first first bit? Arbin. Arbin is A R B A N. It's like okay. a, a it's a a military rank. Okay. Um, Arbin Shakar. Yeah. Or so. right, I'm just writing this down in my little book here. Yeah, do what you got to do. Um. But uh, I mean, I will. I will warn some caution. Orders is orders, and if you say you're one of the blood hands, I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I don't plan on saying I'm one of the blood hands, but I've always been good to you, haven't I, Joanne? We've always gotten along, you and the blood hands. We've been fair, I feel. And she walks, she kind of leans up forward from uh, resting on the, the storefront and walks up towards you and looks at your serape and kind of just adjusts it a little bit seeing there's a little bit of markings showing on one on one of your shoulders and she dusts you off and says i know and i try, want to treat you well too so i just want to make sure you come out of here one piece you know she's still holding uh, perry i plan on it she's not holding perry perry's now sitting <laughs> on the storefront by himself <laughs> It would have been funny if you, she was like had him in her arm like a doll, <laughs> like a baby. Yeah. Yeah. I just start to fall asleep. Like, <laughs> um, Perry, what are you to do during all this when they're having some conversation? Well, I'm going to step off the uh, storefront and I'm going to kind of take a look around the store and see if there's any provisions that uh, may be useful for us on our uh, on our journey here. Okay, okay. Uh, is that a is that a no, is that a me? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <That was, laughs> okay. I do want to see now. <laughs> do you want what I see? Okay, hold yeah. on. Okay, hey, hi guys. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, hi. hi. I'm hi. gonna those, go lick. I'm gonna are... go lick that 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 post over there. Okay, <laughs> that thing over there. For those who weren't watching, my, I muted my mic and started talking. That was. My... <laughs> <laughs> She's been doing great the last two. She episodes. has. I'm sorry, I can only chirp yeah, her because I'm not within now. striking distance. So. Yeah. Yeah, Greg just gets punched for us in, in this situation. Yeah, which is okay. It's fine by me. They're it's lucky a, it's COVID it's and a, I can't hit them in person. What is it? Is it a black dot on, on your yeah. on the middle yeah. of your hand or something, Greg? If you, yeah. if you need help? Um, they, they said spot on in the chat, by the way. Yeah. So, Perfect. Perry, as you hop off the storefront and walk around, uh, the general store has quite a few things you see you know some lanterns you see oddly enough like a ladder kind of hung up along the whole width of the of the uh the store uh there's barrels filled with uh like little pieces of of uh of of tack i guess for you know for long travel some food um you can find you can see a a bunch of a sack of sacks it's a sack full of sacks, um, <laughs> some paper. There's a, there, there's a quite a few things. Just on a, on a brief glance, you can see a few tools. You can see a few candles. You can see a few items here and there. Okay. Okay. Uh, Perry, <clears throat> do you have any way to check and see if there's might be something magical here right you know what joanne what is anything interesting you've found since i've been here last that might come in handy for us uh well um i'm gonna be honest with you Bo. a lot of these people they uh they just take they're obviously selling their wares they don't want to 
sell anything to me i just got a few things to kind of help along their journey so you know it's the usual stuff to get you from a to b maybe c if you need it but uh uh yeah what you see is what you got around here i mean you can ask me what you want and uh, i don't got any magic though well uh i was gonna ask for maybe a couple of healing potions if you have them but i truthfully don't have enough money for them you know how and, uh, things perry, are. perry will hear that he'll go he'll step into the view of her and he'll be like oh healing potions yes i would love healing potions i'll kind of do like a, a bounce up and down like yeah yeah yay roll, roll persuasion perry <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, nine. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Roll with advantage. Sorry, because yeah. she loves you. Oh, she loves she you. Loves you. That's a twenty-two. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> she just like from from the kind of like the semi disappointed look, like the oh I'm sorry, Bo. Like looks over at Perry, and Perry's doing them puppy dog eyes to her, <laughs> and uh, he she goes. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Hold on one second. And she just swings around. And the proportions of this woman are just like, it's just the largest waist you've ever seen. Just turn around, <laughs> and nearly knock something off the side uh, side table that she was at. And then she just disappears into the back. And you hear some rummaging around. And she comes out with, uh, with one healing potion. <laughs> After all that. And she goes, look, I was going to save this just in case things went south here and there, but uh, it leans down to Perry and goes, holds out his, holds out uh, her hand. Uh, yeah, hold, and then you take it. She puts the healing potion in your hand. She goes, just promise me you come back and visit every now and then. Okay, I will. Thank you, madam. You're just so cute here. Take it. I don't want anything for it, Bo. This, remember, you got me out of enough trouble before, Bo. This is for you, all right? Well, it's more so for Perry, but it's for you too. Side note. I am most thankful. I'm sure it will come to good use with us. Ain't that right, Perry? Oh, yes. Yes, it would, Mr. Bo. It would be great. Thank you so much. You're, you're just, uh, you're just the dang sweetest. May I, may I ask just one little thing, Perry, just from you? Oh, no. Yep. Can I get a hug? I won't tell my husband. Can I get a hug? Oh, of course you can. And I kind of do a little double jump. And before you say, uh, before you can finish, of course you can. She picks you up and just smothers you in her bosom, oh, and you're like, yeah. you're almost <laughs> suffocating. And she's just like, oh, I never hug someone this small except my own child. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, Perry, I don't know if I want to keep you as a pet. And I know that's wrong. We got to treat people <laughs> how they want to be treated. Lucky. But um, I'm going to. She puts you down on the ground. She's like, Bo, just be just be careful, please. I'll, I'll be careful. We'll be careful. I got to take know, care of Perry here. You know, make sure that he can come back. See you. Of course. But, you know, the blood hands and the post here, we. We got a thing going on and it's fine. You know, we look the other way when, you know, you know, no one's necessarily doing anything bad. It's a gray area. I've, yeah, I've been okay. in this business long enough to know that I just mind my own, but just don't do anything stupid. Don't. We I don't look after, I'll look after Mr. Bo for you. <laughs> Fairy, just pulling at my heartstrings. All right. Um, well, is there anything else I can get for you? But you got to pay this time if you want anything else. I think I'm all right. You know what? Actually, do you have any uh, patents or nets? Uh, I, th I think I only got a couple left. Uh, patents, patents, patents. Uh, yeah, I got. <sighs> Turns around and like looks in like this almost like what looks to be like a, uh, a just a bar, a wooden box and kind of just like I got like I got like five of them. All right, I'll, I'll take all five and uh, two nets if possible. Uh, I got one net, all right? I'll Is that all right? That. Yeah, no, I'll take that. All right, fifth. To give, I hate to do this, 70 copper. You know it's what? I'm, here's here's a, 
Here's one. How many silver would be that be? One. Like be one silver is ten, isn't it? Yeah, one silver is ten. One silver is a hundred copper. You know what? You've been uh, one silver is a hundred copper, right? That's what I figured. There's no, ten copper pieces of silver. So here, you know what? Here's one gold. Hey, that, that's that's good enough for uh, for us. You've been you've been great here, Joanne. You are always good to us. So she uh, almost said, hey, uh, she said, "Bless the gods." Oh, oh, we're going. Oh, thank you so much. Maybe I can buy something fancy from one of them new merchants out there. Maybe a new dress. I don't know. Um, I can't wait to see you in it. Not for you. It's for the husband. Remember that. I know um, he's a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> to look at the camera there, Peter. That <laughs> clip that. <laughs> hey. All right, uh, now. Okay, you got what you needed. Now, uh, yeah. All right. Um, I think right now is a perfect time to take a quick break before things get more serious. So, yeah. Let's do a quick break. Um, Let's make it a tight 10. Just got to feed the dog. And uh, also, to the people in the chat, you got any questions about the current campaign or Aslos or the Komodon Dynasty or the whole Dremian Kingdom, shoot them in the chat. I'm, uh, I'll answer them. Maybe. A lot. If you're not a spoiler. Yeah. So. All right, we all ready for a break? Yep. Before we jump off uh, and go to break, I forgot to mention this really cool, incredibly awesome beaded uh, bracelet that I'm wearing. Wawa Tessie made it herself. She did all the beading, and I love it, and it's neon green. You guys can't see it, but it's so cool. Um, with that, let's go Let's go ahead and take a break. We'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Ten minutes right here on the dd d Show. We'll be back. Bye. All right. Oh, what's up, my derps? We are back after the break. We are... Yeah, look at Peter's face. I love when he does that. He's always got something funny to do. Uh, we're back. We're live. Let's go. Sorry, Peter. I get a little bit distracted and unfocused. Take it away. All right. Uh, okay. So, with Borok and Perry finishing their uh, little discussion in the general store, uh, they exit out onto the wood plank uh, deck in front of the store and they see a a different sight they see Wawatesi walking rather proudly and confidently uh, <laughs> just by them as they as they exit the general store how do you uh, how do you all make out it's just, it's just Wawa Tessie walking direct. She doesn't even notice you. Oh, I'm just walking walking proudly walking in towards where I saw Griorn. I'm not even paying attention to anything around me at this point. Okay. okay. <laughs> are we, are, so, sorry, I might have just missed that. So are we still in the general store? Or are, and that's you just exited, them? As you exited the general uh, okay, store. Okay, so we are outside. I do see them. Yeah, she walks directly uh, right right across from you. You only, you only see, yeah. see Wawa Tessie walk right by you. Uh, Wawa Tessie. What? 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 Who, is Who said that? Where? <laughs> Barack? I'm standing oh. right, right here. Bo, you're going to be so proud of me. I did so good. I did so good. Well, that's great, Wawa Tessie. What, what did you do good at? I didn't touch anything. Except for the spoon. And I'm going to, like, <laughs> pull it out of my pocket. <laughs> Whips it out of the bandolier and shows you this, like, pretty, like, normal-looking spoon. <laughs> Was that in a person's hand when you took it? Or mouth. Uh, or no, mouth. it wasn't in anybody's hand. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, well, I guess we'll just take that as a, a small victory, then. I did so well. You should be so proud of me. Well, I, I am proud of you. That's, that's great. You know, keep, keep up the good work. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best. Did you uh, smoke or drink a little something <laughs> with, with... No, I'm with just Rior? so happy and I'm so proud of myself. I did so good. Oh, okay. All right. 
sure. Uh, <laughs> as Bo, no, Bo, you're overlooking the scene and um, you kind of catch off in the distance um, that red dragonborn just patrolling around once again, casually, hand on the hilt of his sword, just like looking around and nodding at people, uh, kind of making its way towards you or in the direction that you guys are at right now. Does anybody here speak? Uh, well, whatever they speak, uh, lizard folk or dragon, dragon tongue. So I, I don't know. Harry, you anyway. quickly chime in. You know that it's draconic <laughs> just from your learning. <laughs> it's uh, dr- draconic, but I don't speak it. All right. Does anybody speak it? Or are we uh, going to be no. signing ourselves to them? All right, well, let's just ignore them and see what happens. <laughs> um, Griorn, nice. you are kind of walking out of the uh, of Ohir's uh, office house, and you're he's kind of slung over your shoulder, and he's almost he's almost like very hunched over, and you're just kind of carrying him back to where you found him. And uh, if you look to your if you look to your right, you see uh, a few farmhouses down. You see the group standing outside the general store. Hey, so I says to the guy, "It's not rocket surgery." Oh, there's my group of friends over there. Maybe we could uh, turn What's this. What's the rocket? Up. What? What's, What's the rocket? rocket? <laughs> uh, something in your pocket? I I don't know. Um, let's keep this party going, my friend. Uh, hey, um, folk, hey, uh, uh, um, oh, boy, I don't want to scream. I'm going to touch my ear and go, Barack, I'm over here, uh, carousing with the folks, getting intel, gonna put on a little show. What do you think? That was in your head. I mean, yeah. Yeah, keep them occupied if you can. Keep being occupied. Roger that. Um, and then I'm going to try to convince this guy to go and keep drinking with me and all the other people who are sitting around liming at the tables drinking. All right, roll persuasion for O here, since he's kind of already in the roll it with advantage, since he's already in his cups. I probably don't need advantage. That was a 27. Damn. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> he goes, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Everybody drinks all around. And uh, you kind of lead them back over towards the little drink shack that's set up. Um, You're now getting into uh, early evening. You're in the fall, so the sun's starting to uh, start to set a little bit. And uh, it's casting like a a nice red glow over the the plains. Um, Perry. As you're kind of standing, standing in the general store, looking around, um, you see the red dragonborn uh, walking around patrolling, and then you see the green dragonborn uh, kind of patrolling in a different sector, but it's just coming around some houses and looking around. And uh, you can tell by the difference in gear that uh, the, this green dragonborn, as there's two green dragonborns that you saw already, this one is a little bit more higher in standing. Uh, walking around with a little bit more of a, a proud stride to itself and just overlooking at people, but just being polite and nodding at people, and, you know, smiling. This toothy dragonborn smile. Sorry, you noticed that? Harry did. Okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, I'll just tell the group. Um, I don't know. There's a fancy-looking green dragonborn over there. That's the one we want to talk to. But I feel like I want to know how we want to play this first without getting into a fight. 
And remember, Grigorn's not with you. Yeah, I'm talking to Perry. And Walla. Um, yeah, and Walla. Oh, Walla Tessie is with me. Just, yes, yeah, sorry, just, okay, all right. I don't know. We just kind of ignore them, and then and if they mess with us, then uh, you take care of it. Actually, I have an idea. Walla Tessie, let's put some of your uh, skills to the to the test here. Why don't you turn into one of your animal types and sneak into the tent, see if you can grab any information or log books or something like that and we'll try and keep them distracted out here uh, okay all right if, <laughs> if 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 anything goes awry bamf into another animal form and get the fuck out of there as fast as you can all right run into the fields but you need to be stealthy pick your Stealthiest one, your smallest one. Get in, get out, don't fuck around. Got it? Yes. All right. Do you have any suggestions what would work best for this area? A fly. Generally, a uh, cat, uh, something like a cat or a mouse or something like that. Or a, a spider. spider. Yeah, yeah. Or a flying squirrel. <laughs> That's what I would have to. That wouldn't be me. That would be. Okay. Bring this up because I didn't have my wild shit notes up. While you're looking at it, um, while with Tessie. Let's go over to Griorn. Griorn, you get back to the drink shack. Um, and to Perry and Borok uh, and Wawatessi, you can see Griorn carrying a nearly passed out person back towards this drink shack. Griorn, what are you doing? Hey, so, uh, uh, folks, I would, uh, if you'd care to listen again, I'd love to regale you of the island I call home, Navigawa. My people, the Gold Dwarves, have lived there for centuries on centuries, tens of thousands of years, and throughout that time, we have slowly encroached upon the, the main island of Aslos. Uh, if you're interested, let's go ahead and have another drink, and maybe I'll play a little song for you. This time, you, you see a bigger crowd. I. You see a bigger crowd starting to come around, and the Red Dragonborn is actually a part of it. Okay, I like it. Keeping everybody distracted. And here's a little ditty I called Navigawa. Yes. Grion smashed on from the land of wood and water. Did y'all hear that? We aspire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. achieve. Let me tell you about my land <laughs> and a home of the gold dwarfs. Everyone, like, is starting to, like... Move in unison. From my island, I see the There's someone shaking like a salt shaker in the background. <laughs> From my island, I see the world. Seminole, holy gold was come from him to a Yeah, so immediately, <laughs> the, as the party starts and people start turning around, Wawa Tessie just into this black rat form. And that's all you're hearing in the background. Like, in a yeah, that's what you're hearing in the background as people are going around. Uh, so, uh, Wawa Tessie, can you roll a stealth check, please? <laughs> oh, sneaky music. Listen, folks, I'm going to put that song up on YouTube now that it's officially canon. So, uh, yeah, look for that. There you go. It's coming days. <laughs> I have too much time on my hands. Uh, that's a 19. A what? Okay, a 19. All right. So, let me just double check something right now. Uh, nice. Okay, so... As you uh, begin to scurry your way past the through the legs of all the people that are partying and moving around, you get to the uh, the, the row of tents, and it's pretty easily to, uh, easy to discern the, the the largest tent is probably for someone who's a little bit more important, and you uh, you sneak in there. Uh, as you get in there, you see a little bell a bedroll laid up laid on the side there. Um, and, 
you see a table with a few papers there, then and there. What are you doing? Uh, I'm it, I'm gonna check out the papers. Okay, uh, as a rat. Yes. How are you getting up there? There's no. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can scurry up the side of the, 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 side the, of the table. Like, yeah. I'm being a dick. Sorry. <laughs> you scurry up the side. You scurry up the, t- the side of the table leg and you get up to the top and you see a bunch of a uh, bunch of papers in uh, in different languages. But you see one that's like a um, almost like a map of an area. Would I recognize the area? Um, Roll a history check. That's Quick question. 14. Quick question. Does the rat have a braid as well? <laughs> <laughs> How about instead of like a regular rat tail, it's like a braided tail. Oh, that's terrifying, but okay. Um, <laughs> and what it, was still looks like a, it still looks like rat skin, but it looks braided. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a 14 though, right? Yeah, it was 14. So you can easily tell that this is a... Um, a map of the of the plains and there are arrows pointing to certain places uh there's a circle around what you can only assume is this town it looks like it's a a trading post and um there's a few other arrows being pointed out everywhere from that from that area how big is this paper? Uh, it's a normal, let's just say it's a legal size paper. <laughs> legal size document. Um, and is there anything else on the table? Are the other papers of any importance to me? The other papers you see are scribbled in uh, a language that you don't really discern. Um, and is there anything else in this tent? Uh, looking around, there's uh, uh, there's a pack of like there's a backpack there, and then there's uh, uh, there there's, doesn't seem to be too much. It seems very very put together. Let's just say there's just a backpack that's kind of with a closed flap there as well. Okay, I will use my little rat hand and mouth and roll these papers up and take them with me. And you're going to carry them in your in mouth? In my mouth, yeah. Okay. So you roll, you manage to use your little rat paws and roll up this, just the paper or one paper? Oh, sorry, the papers or one paper? Papers. Okay. Um, like, could I roll them, like, put them on top of each other and, like, roll them up as one and carry it? Not it like would take, a whole it bunch would of take some time. It would take some time to like make, like bite them, pull them over. In your, you got to keep thinking about your, uh, form. your rat form, right? Yes. So if you want to take the time, you totally can. Yeah, I'll take the time. Because okay. I don't understand well, the papers, and maybe somebody else in the group might. So while you're taking the time to do that, we're gonna jump to Perry. Perry, um. Borok turns around and uh, just looks at you real quick and says, um, "Just says, uh, keep an eye on everything. I'm just gonna be, uh, I'm just gonna be right back." Oh goodness, okay. And as you're standing, kind of like you put your, you put your, you cross your arms and you're standing there, like almost just overlooking things, and um, you hear someone come behind you and uh, pull on your robe. Uh oh. Gotta ask on your first. cape, sorry, on your cape. <laughs> I uh, turn around. You turn around and you're met eye to eye with a a little elf girl. She's got uh, black hair, pigtails, tan skin, and missing two front teeth. And she goes, "Hi." Oh, hello. What's um? What's your name? Aritha, what's your name? I'm I'm Perry. 
Arithra, nice to uh, nice to meet you. Where's Arissa? Arissa, where's where's your where's your parents? Over there, and she kind of points off into the party area. I'm not allowed to go there because that's where people drink. Yeah, I get that. I understand being left out of drinking. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? <laughs> Yeah. You're small. Oh, so are you? How old are you? Yeah, but like I'm gonna be big, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, how old are you? I'm like, I'm like eight, but doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. Um. It doesn't matter, eh? No, it doesn't. Because I see things. I see things all the time, and like, and like, no one believes me. Well, what do, What do people not believe you about? I'll believe you. Okay. Okay. So, so, did you see? Did you see the person with the fancy robes? Which one? Point them out for me. Well, they were here, but they were here earlier. Obviously. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then they were over there, and they're over there, and she points off to like this, this um, farmhouse, and she's like, and they went behind there, okay, and then, and then I said, hey, hey, what are you, what are you doing? That's not your house, because I know who lives there, right? And then, and so she's as she's saying that she's like playing with her pigtails, and she, and then the, the guy, the guy, the, the the person, the person, I don't like they they had a hood on and they were holding like a bag or something it was a big bag and then and then i was gonna be like if you don't tell me what's in that bag i'm gonna make a loud noise and you're gonna get in trouble and then and, th and then and then they looked at me they looked at me and they they put their finger up and in their finger there was like a long fingernail and they were like they waved it in my face and I don't like that. So I said, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go get my dad. And then I turned around and they were gone. Dad's gonna oh. your dad's ass. Oh goodness. Okay. Um what did the uh, what did the person with the bag look like? So so they had like these robes, right? <laughs> and and um and um they had like these robes and they were like purple robes uh i don't like the color purple anyways it's just, it's not my favorite color as you can see my favorite color is pink and she has like this little bow in her hair she's like but anyways i um and they had like this hood on and I couldn't really see like what they look like and what they were or whatever what they like All I know is they have like long fingernails wear robes and they're really mean and they have a big bag and it wasn't fun because I just I just want to know if you saw them because I want to tell my dad that I'm not lying again and I don't need to be grounded well I I didn't see them but I believe you saw them and if you see them again you could point them out to me yeah like I guess I mean I can. It's just it's just hard sometimes. No one no one trusts me, you know. But like, I promise. Um, I promise. Like I wasn't. I'm not lying about this. I saw it. I mean, like I could I could show you over there. It was not a big deal. Like whatever. Okay, I will do that. Uh, I'll do that in a moment, but I have to stand here for a bit and 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 just observe. Whatever. Want to help me? Do you want to help me, etc.? Oh. <laughs> kind of. Her name's Arissa, by the way. She just had the lisp. <laughs> <laughs> Looks down and like just like kind of kicks a little stone off the the general store plank and goes like, "Okay, I guess." But like, I get to look over this way, and you look over that way. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thanks. And we'll just sit here and wait for a bit. Hey, be a hey good Perry. Time. Hey, Perry. Yes. I like your mustache. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Ar 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 Arissa. That's nice of you. 
No problem. <laughs> Who are your parents? Oh, my parents, they're like just farmers here. They're not like they're not like important people. This farm, like whatever. Are you, do you have the homestead that's over there? No, that's not my house. Okay. Whose house is that? So the house that she pointed at, you saw Griorn coming out of it. Oh, okay. That's that's like the guy, the boss, the guy, not the boss. I always get in trouble when I say boss, but this person's like, um, they like make sure everyone in the town is like doing things and like making and contributing. That my dad always says, I need to contribute more. How do you think you can contribute then? I can tell people things that I see. You did pretty, you did pretty well telling me. Yeah, thank you. But like, it's weird because like, why would that guy around that house? That's not even his house. I don't even know if it was a guy. A person, I guess. How big is this bag we're talking about? I don't know. And like, she kind of like makes this gesture and it's, it was like a big bag, like, like this and had it over its shoulder. Did you, did you hear them speak? No. Mm. I might have seen this bag before, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, and then, like, this is another thing that bugs me, okay? Like, my dad, he's a farmer, and he, like, he's, like, the best farmer here, like, by far. And then, like, one day, he, like, he comes inside, he's like, look at my carrots. I can't believe what's going on with my carrots. And I say, like, what's wrong with your carrots, dad? And then he, like, shows me one of the carrots, and there's, like, this like this pink stuff on it. I don't know. <gasps> oh, no. Did he touch that? I don't know. He, just, like, he was just like, whatever. I just get to sell it to that guy anyways. Okay. Listen, if you ever see pink crystals in the forest, don't touch them, okay? Don't, they're bad. They're dangerous. They could hurt you. But like there's like a bunch of them in like my dad's like my dad's like his crops like he pulled out a bunch of them and he thought maybe it was like some sort of thing with the soil this year because we had a lot of rain and it's a weird time to harvest but like oh goodness oh goodness is there any crystals inside your house right now no like they put them all in like my dad was like selling them to a guy with like this like dragon guy and he came in and he put it in a crate and a guy like just left not too long ago what what do you know which way he went do you know what he looked like um he was like a dragon he had scales um i don't remember color well like he like he had like like this like silvery color to them Okay, you've done very, very well. You've done very, very well. Yeah, and like he's like okay. So like, if you like looking for him, he left already. He went back on the road. That where all the where all the people go. The, you know, the, the trade things. Okay. 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 Like, can, can, like I'm bored now. Can I show you what I found? <laughs> um, I kind of look around and I'm like, can we wait? Just can we wait for my big friend to come back and then we can go? <laughs> You're so like Perry, like I don't wanna like be mean because I just met you, but like you're really nice, but also like you can be like really selfish, you know? <sighs> okay. Okay, I will oh goodness. All right, fine, show me. Show me. Finally. Um okay. <laughs> Perry's gonna start talking with a list. I know, right? Like, <laughs> I can hear it. It's like you're trying so hard. It's not hard. To. It's hard not to. It's really hard not to like, like chameleon kind of voice sometimes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, um, Perry, Arissa starts to take you towards uh, Ohir's house, uh, but quickly, let's go to Griorn. Griorn, your song's still going on. It's it's nearing the tail end of this uh, discussion. The party's happening. Um, I. You see a bunch of people, uh, 
not necessarily losing interest, but you know, just now they're letting the music play in the background and they're talking and they're enjoying themselves, cheering, uh, cheers to drinks. Uh, I mean, I'd assume the one bottle of Bacchanal rum is completely depleted now, right? Oh yeah, but you know, I got to keep a couple in the pack, right? That's just how I roll. But uh, we're not here for my rum. We're here for everybody else's drinks. <clears throat> well, thank you very much, folks. This has been an absolute pleasure. Once again, my name is Griorn Smashstone from the island of Navigua, near the Hiltua Volcano. You just sang with me. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's carry on with the revelry and drinks later on. Also, folks, it's not up. You're under no obligation, but generally speaking, if you enjoyed yourself, a tip uh, in the monetary uh, uh, of monetary value is generally uh, custom here. Thank you very much. My name's Griorn Smashstone. Now, Griorn, roll persuasion for that little that little <laughs> ask there. Persuasion, he says. That is a, what number is that? That is a 19. Uh-oh, what happened to our uh, screens here? It looks like his thing went Oh, off. yeah. Oh, Hold that's on, not good. I'm just drag him back into the, uh, from the AFK. Sorry, while we're doing that. Drag him back in from the AFK. There you go, that should fix it, I hope. <laughs> I don't know, it's got everything all mixed up. It's Holy been rough shit. with the webcams. All right, just keep going. We'll go from there. We'll just pretend like it's fine. Chris's shoulder yeah. gets its own screen. Now, now I'm actually now, bored. Now, you're bored. Now you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Uh, well, um, hell. <laughs> can we put Bo? Can we? Can we put Damn Peter in both Bo and his? Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Cool. This is this has been a great session. There. It's now, okay. Now you're back. It's fun. I'm back. I'm back, baby. All right. So there was a 19, a 19. Yes. Some people come up and you can see some of the people who are, uh, you can tell just by their, the state of their dress. Uh, they are merchants from out of, uh, not necessarily in this, from this post. And they, um, toss, both of them, uh, you, they toss a few coins in, and uh, you you come out with three silver on oh, top of that. Nice. Um, and they just kind of nod in approval, and they uh, they move on. Thank you, thank you for your generosity. It is appreciated. Please come and uh, regale me in tales of your lands. I am here to learn as well as teach. Um, I'm carouse with the crowd. All right, so one of the merchants starts talking to you, and the you can see it's this larger, <clears throat> this larger um, male, um, and he comes up. He's like, "Well, hello. Um, yes, I'm from the. Uh, well, I come from the north here, but uh, <sighs> you're from a little island called Nevigua. I've, uh, I believe, that's one of the islands from." Uh, just off near Armazol, I guess. Aye, that's correct. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, yes, very familiar with that. I know the the uh, the export of the, the... I believe it's obsidian, yes? Aye, that's the one. Ah, yes, The yes. black glass, as they call it. Ah, right. No, it's very strong material, very strong material. Not... Not stronger than uh, Huldremian uh, steel, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, so what brings you out here? I am just uh, exploring the world and trying to spread the word of the Gold Dwarves. It's surprising how many people have never seen anyone that looks like me. Yes, it's, it's quite interesting. You know, I've never seen a uh, Gold Dwarf such as yourself. Um... I heard stories, of course. I heard of the the parties that you that you throw. Yeah, um, the carnival. Yes, yes. Um, but uh, you know, I must be uh, getting on. He kind of raises his drink and he says, "I have a uh, early trip down south this uh, this day." You know. Well, travel safe, friend. And uh, word of advice: if you see any pink crystal, don't touch it. What? To your health. Yes. Uh, you too. Just starts to uh, 
so she starts to walk off into the crowd and you can tell to kind of make him back to this little caravan cart that they have um well with tessie yes. <laughs> between the talk with perry <laughs> and the the talk that was simultaneously happening with griorn you've got all these papers done up now you've con- kind of hold them in your mouth gingerly so you don't chew through them and i need you to roll a stealth check with disadvantage please that means i have to roll it yes and take the lower number (laughs) (laughs) oh that's better than i thought it was i thought it was a three but it's an eight uh eight and four twelve twelve okay um this time it was a little bit more difficult exiting out the camp um as you leave you see a a group of drunk revelers and you try to make your way through there um but you have to quickly detour off to the side you see perry walking off with a little uh a little dark-haired elf and uh you try to make your way around there i need you to roll a dexterity saving throw as one reveler's foot try, starts to come down right on top of you. Oh, uh, that is 12 again. 12, okay. Okay. Just narrowly escaping being stepped on your rat form dodges, dodges to the side, still holding onto the papers. The papers whoosh, just flap in the wind as you're moving by. Um... But unfortunately, that path has put you directly in the way of the green dragonborn in the ornate armor. Ah, oh, she. <laughs> oh, she's is right. Uh... Um, let us see. <laughs> it did not. It did not. Wow. Rolled an eight. Uh, so. Uh, as you thought you were spotted, the the Green Dragonborn kind of looks off into the distance, looks over to uh, Griorn, talking to a few people, and uh, you dart past him, uh, or her, sorry. And um, you make your way... Downtown. Oh, <laughs> every fucking... <laughs> Walking fast. Um, to a little farm shack um, off to the side, and you... Are you jumping out of your form or not? You seem you seem to be well hidden from everyone. Um. Uh, Gruen is busy. Yes. And Perry is also busy. And Bo seems to be uh, dealing with something with Joanne right now. <laughs> um. I think I'm going to stay a rat for now. Okay. 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 Stay a rat. All right. Um, you, as you make your way uh, off to the side there, you see Perry moving with the rat. Uh, I'm moving with the rat. Moving with the little elven girl. Uh, are you? What are you doing there? <laughs> I'm. I'm going to go towards Griorn. Okay. And I'm going to try to like flip into his pocket. Oh, damn. So <laughs> the way Griorn is set right now is there's a, there's like, like a, a crowd. Of, I'm in a huge there's crowd, a crowd of, people. of people, and he's like kind of in like a. I'm gonna get stepped on. <laughs> a presenter. He's kind of like in a presenter stance right now, and he's talking to someone. What's a presenter um, stance? Like, oh, you're like, like not like hands on your hips and your legs spread like apart. Superman? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like, you're like just, you know, shooting the shit with someone. You have your hands on your hips, you know, kind of like, it's like you're talking to someone. I would, I call it presenter stance. It's stupid. But anyways, <laughs> uh, he's kind of like out in the open. Like it's like a, a small clearings made around him because people were listening to him play. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, now let's quickly jump back over to Perry. Yes. Perry, as you're walking uh to this this uh this nicer looking uh farmhouse um arissa turns to you and goes okay now 
you gotta be like super super careful we don't get seen here because this is like this is like the leader of the town's place but we gotta go behind the, the house okay come with me I hate to be that guy, but Wolfie Wu just got here. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, so can we do a bit of suspense um, for the moment? Or? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll jump back to... We'll, we'll jump back, back to see how okay. what Tessie does going through the crowd. Okay, I'm so sorry. I, I literally just got messages. I was like, damn it. Okay, I'll be right back. Yep. What about Tessie? Yes. You see Griorn in a open clearing of people. And uh, you try to make, I need you to try to make your way towards uh, Griorn in your rat form. So this is gonna, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna do a little, a little event here. Yep. Uh, first, first make the roll of a, a stealth check. I wanna see, you have to make a distance of nobody there to see, like there's a, there's a distance of where there's nobody covering you and I want you to be hidden. So make a stealth check, please. Uh, that it that was a natural twenty. Nice. Uh, okay. Unnatural. Got me excited. <laughs> you scurry, you scurry through, uh, through the open path, and you get towards the grouping of uh, of revelers. Now, there's a lot of people moving and dancing, pretty much uh, solely because of Grigorn. Um. How are you to get through them? I'm going to like, you know how in like movies when you see rats and they're like scurrying and they stop and they like look up and then they look scurry and stop and look up and they like scurry. Yeah, you're gonna do that. That's, that's what I want to do. <laughs> so it's unfortunate you couldn't see that happen. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> the other people on the stream saw it. So. I saw it. I when I was watching. I have I have the stream up. I can see. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> well, Tessie, you first will need to make a dexterity check. Okay. Or athletics. I think it is dexterity, but athletics specifically. Uh. If so, if it was athletics, it's. 16 16 okay cool um first first a group of people you dart through easily zooming past the legs and now you stop to do the like then look up i need you to roll another uh oh actually now so the legs are a little bit more closer together as people are dancing a little bit more closer you know maybe a little bumping and grinding um I need you to roll an acrobatics check. Ooh, 18. Fuck. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> I got Meanwhile, I'm standing there in my presenter stance going, if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, wear it. And for the first time you've ever told that, Griorn, people laugh. Because <laughs> they're drunk enough. Hey. And um, out of the corner of your eye, you see a little rat carrying papers in that in their mouth. Um, <laughs> She's still doing well, rat moves. <laughs> well, with Yes. <Esty. laughs> Now there is. Whoa, we got we got Perry with a bunch of uh, items there. But quickly, uh, Wawa Tessie. Now you have to make the clearing between the like uh, between the the revelers and Griorn. How are you gonna do this? Um, I am going to. <sighs> they're like they're all drunk, right? Like. Yep. I'm gonna do some some little, little tricky over here. I am going to. <laughs> oh, famous <laughs> last words. Famous <laughs> last words. Uh, cause I'm trying to get to Griorn, and people are a little bit drunk. So I'm gonna like try and like climb up somebody's like leg or something and like try and like jump from person <laughs> i don't know like they're not gonna there. feel that this is they're, drunk. Gonna well. they're drunk they're okay. drunk like, maybe they'll think it's a fly i don't know i'm just roll high <laughs> okay hoping. roll an athletics check <laughs> because this is gonna be speed 
to get up the person's leg without them noticing or body without them noticing 16 16 well, I mean we're under pressure now we need to get the pressure pressure music okay well with Tessie in your rat form you kind of judge you see this one person um and you say you think to yourself I can I can do this you begin to scurry up their pant leg and just as you reach the the crest where you think you can make the jump just to get perfectly in Griorn's pocket. All short. <laughs> the you snorted. The villager notices you uh, and tries to shoo you away. I need you now to make an acrobatics check with disadvantage so you can make the jump and not fo- and not foil it. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, 12. Would have really liked that second roll, but... <laughs> Ooh. Well, Tessie, as you begin to jump, the villager's hand just meets your hind and sends you careening on a... on a, uh, on a spinning off... Uh, spinning off course. And, Griorn, from your point of view... You, from your point of view, you see a rat with papers <laughs> in its mouth jumping at you, trying, then getting spun and smacked by the, the hand of a drunk reveler, and it is now careening towards the person that's directly talking to you. It's going to smack them directly in the head. How are you going to act here? <laughs> gonna smack me in the head or it's gonna no, smack the person in the you're head. talking to yeah it's smacking the per- you can see this happening like in slow motion uh, in front of you i i i'm sorry but like rats are gross and <laughs> i'm going to probably try to smack it out of the air and smack it down but you see that i'd have papers in my mouth <laughs> how would i possibly put two and two together i've just been performing <laughs> 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 <whole> okay. <laughs> What's the well? So thought? how are you? How are you gonna smack it? Out? Are you just gonna just swat like, at it? Yeah, just swat just to throw the slap okay. it down on the ground. Mid air. Roll, roll a a d twenty <laughs> with strength modifier, and uh, Wawa Tessie, give me the AC of the no, rat. It won't matter. <laughs> I ro- I rolled a nat one. <laughs> I'm a ten. Uh, oh my four. God. <laughs> oh, nat- no, it's a natural one, brother. Guess what yeah. happens? Oh, no. In slow motion, you see this rat coming, uh, <laughs> jumping, heading towards this poor villager's head. <laughs> you, in shock, try to raise your hand to just hit it out of the way, and you end up slapping the person directly <laughs> in the face. <laughs> and just as you sm- just as you slap the person directly in the face, a rat smacks them in the back of the head. <laughs> and Walla Tessie, you take six points of falling damage. Oh, she is <laughs> smacking the ground. Oh, I've got rats. <laughs> oh. Someone, someone clipped that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> okay. Now the villager is standing somewhat drunkenly, but like gobsmacked that just you <laughs> smacked this, this, uh, this poor defenseless wood elf in the face. What are you doing, Greg? Oh, it's me. I thought I thought you were asking why we're testing. Yeah, I. Uh, oh, I'm just I'm panicking and going like screaming out ah rats and pointing at the rat and trying to you know physically apologize in the way of like oh my god it wasn't my fault like yeah in the most awkward way possible. So you point down to the rat and the rat's looking now directly up at you i'm assuming wawa tessie yes like giving <laughs> him the, the dirtiest papers. rat <laughs> possible <laughs> like, now with the papers the, com- <laughs> the papers completely crumpled and folded over in her mouth still being held there and the this is such a bad decision yeah it was terrible um the <laughs> villager need to come to <laughs> the villager 
now decides to go and try and kick the rat like it's nothing. So you're gonna die. Wawa Tessie, yeah. I need you to roll a dexterity and saving throw, and I'm gonna roll a d20. And <laughs> let's hope to God it's higher than this d20 roll, uh, right? <laughs> roll into the camera. I want to see it. I have nothing to roll in the camera oh, okay. to. <laughs> I will take a picture if it's anything godly. Okay, what did you roll, Wawa Tessie? 13. I rolled, no fucking lie, a 12. Wow! <laughs> you quickly dodge out of the way and scurry under the bar oh, table. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> and just as you feel the wind bristle the fur, as you narrowly escape getting the boot from a villager. With that, we're gonna jo go jump back to Perry. Now, Perry, you're with Arissa at the side of Ohir's oh house. Okay. Um, okay. Now, Arissa has told you that we need to be really, really, really careful here. Okay, we can do that. All right. So, I want you to roll a stealth check, please, Perry. All right, Arissa rolled a 13. So you sneakily, like almost like an old Scooby Doo cartoon, I'm assuming. Right. It's like just you guys going <laughs> along this like side of this wooden house. And as you get around the corner, bum, 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 bum. you peek around the you peek around the corner, you see a few boxes and a few barrels, almost as a, a storage in this little let's say roofed in area there's no walls it's just kind of just there for storage and arissa goes right there that's that's where i saw that's where i saw the person in the robe right there and she points at like a little barrel area okay i will go and investigate the area okay can you please roll an investigation check for me sir again Ooh, 15 all right there's a little bit as you're walking in uh, carefully into this area there's a little bit of uh dust and uh dry grass is kind of you, every step you take kind of crackles underneath and um one thing does catch your eye there's a burned in marking on the ground and it okay. looks to be a bunch of sigils and runes in a circle. And they're they're drawn into the dirt? They're like almost scorched into the dirt. Okay. I will take a moment to um, kind of sketch it into my keen mind. Ah. Ah. And then I will... Oh no. Do I recognize any of these symbols or sigils or would I recognize perhaps what type of ritual or um, spell that this would be? Uh, roll an arcana check, please. <laughs> 15. <laughs> I kid you not. Cool. Here, let me start. Let me check my notes. Um, okay. So you see under this shed like structure that the light might not be picking up 100%, but you know that this is a teleportation circle for sure. Wow. Okay. And the sigils, though, they're a little unrecognizable. You, you don't know exactly what they are or where they're going. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Hmm. And you and how long ago did you see this person here? Uh So like I don't know, like earlier today, like like It's like it's like in the morning, like something like in the morning. Okay. Listen. We got to go back to where we were before because my friend Barack, if he finds out that I left without 
without keeping watch, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. And you don't like being grounded either, don't you? No, I mean, I'm already grounded. So I kind of like, I kind of like live my life on the edge. It doesn't matter. Like, I, oh, you goodness. know, like, I, like, what are they going to do? They're going to ground me again? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, they can, they can extend. They can, they can extend your, lo- your lockdown or your, sorry, your ground. You're, you're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the, I'm uh, broken. I'm broken. Oh. You're in Ontario. Welcome to Ontario humor. Um, the, Arissa's face, this like smarmy smile, turns into like a serious look, and they, and she looks at you dead in the eyes and goes, "Wait, th- th- they can do that? Oh yes, they can. Oh yes. Yeah, and especially if they build up the cases against you, the more cases you have, the further your grounding is going to be. Oh." Okay, yeah. we gotta go. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go quick. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, we're and we're not gonna stealth. And I'm gonna grab her hand and be like, quick, run, run, run. Okay. And, and like as, as you're like, you just pull her before she even gets time to think, and you bring her back to the spot you're at. Um, what are you doing next, Perry? <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell me about the area there? Do you do you see other people coming and going too, or? Uh, no, that's like that's like the, that's like the only time I've ever seen anyone do do something like that. Like, if I can be like, I'm, I I see so many things here, but no one's ever done that before. Okay, all right. Listen, you did a really really good job today. Thanks. You did too. I just, I don't like it's. I mean, I I told you all about this, so like obviously I did like a better job, but it's like. You're like a really good partner too, so high five. She raises her hand up and just meets you. Smack. Just high five full on. I nice. said good one. Says, okay, like so I'm gonna go tell my dad Um that I just met like this like this small person and that we just like what like we like went and like found things like behind a shed. Okay. So let me okay. Before you go tell your father, explain it. Don't tell him that you met some random man and you ran behind a shed <laughs> with him privately. Okay, uh, and there was a ritual there. Just, just, just be like, just tell me you met a new friend. Okay, like whatever, it's fine. Oh god. Um, <laughs> oh god. So you, wait, you you were talking about like you were talking like about these like these crystals, right? Like these things, these yeah. purple things or pink things, like yes. whatever. Um, yes. Purple's like not my favorite color. Pink is my favorite color. So you're telling me I can't touch a crystal? That's my favorite color. I'm telling you, if you do so, you'll die. Whoa. No, I won't. Okay. <laughs> this, this is what I, I'm trying not to talk with, with your voice it's so hard. Okay. Um, yeah, this is why this is why I didn't uh, have little halflings of my own. Um, listen, I, this is your new friend. Your new. Oh, gosh. I will give you a gift if you promise me you'll never touch those crystals. I was just joking. I'm not going to touch them anyway. But okay. So now I'm worried because my dad, my dad sold them to that person. And now they've gone off with them. It was the person with the big backpack, right? No, 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 no. The person with the. Oh, Perry. The person with the big backpack went on that thing, and then you found that little circle, and they just like. They obviously were there. Okay. But the. My dad sold all of our f- vegetables to the person in the cart, the dragon born in the cart. You know, the dragon guy. Okay, Eric, roll, so a, roll a history check real quick. It was a silver dragon, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, history check. <laughs> uh, that's three plus three. Plus. 25 <laughs> you easily remember remember with your keen mind that you did see a cart with a dragonborn loading up things today just as you were entering the town okay all right okay okay 
goodness. This is a lot. You did very well today. No, you did. You did more. I know, but hey, I just um, hey, you did. yeah. Here, take this, and she gives you a little like terribly, terribly, terribly whittled little bird figure. She's like, here, take that. Oh my goodness, it's so cute! Thank you. Yeah, I know. Aww. I I, I know it's cute. I made it. Okay, bye. And she just runs off. Oh, goodness. Okay. I might get in a lot of trouble here. Yeah. Oh, boy. But hopefully I get a lot of good information whenever Barack comes back. I hope he's okay. You hear, Bo you hear Borak inside of the house like, Joanne, I told you, I don't want to buy any more of this stuff. He's suffocating in bosoms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Personal experience with that. <laughs> so, what are we? Uh, what are we doing, gang? Uh, the party is dying down a bit. The revelers are starting to disperse. Um, there is a rat did. form. <laughs> there's a rat form of Wawa Tessie recovering from her wounds. Um, <laughs> Did she fully get away? Did you fully get out? I, I got she out. Narrowly escaped. Okay. Narrowly escaped by 13, meaning, meaning a 12. Uh, yeah. Um, I am going to go and find somewhere that I can <laughs> get out of my wild shape form. <laughs> without without easily, being noticed, hopefully. Easily, you find that like everyone's very busy, and you find a small little storehouse behind the uh, the little tavern shed, and you uh, you change back into the Wawa Tessie form, a little a little bruised, um, a little battered there, but uh, you're still. But as you turn back into your rat form, the uh, sorry into your human form or your wood elf form, hi. Elf, hello. hi. Nailed it. Hello. What day is it? Um, oh, hello. The, paper, the paper's still in your mouth. Hello. <laughs> paper's still in my mouth. Uh, okay. I'm... Uh, you turned your mic up. Oh, no, okay. I just moved where I was talking. I'm going to take the papers out of, out of my mouth and put them into one of the pockets on my bandolier, and I'm going to go back. I'm going to, like recover <laughs> like, oh, compose, wow. compose myself okay. you should have seen this rat near I almost got him and then oh my god I slapped the guy in the face and it was hilarious and I'm going to walk up to Griorn and I'm going to punch him in the gut <laughs> I'm, are, you just, are you just accepting it or are you like I is am it, accepting you, it but I am shell shocked also I want to can we roll to find out how much it hurt her <laughs> hand because I've got abs of steel okay <laughs> um, so hard. roll a constitution okay. saving throw okay. versus Wawa Tessie's strength d d20 strength modifier with a d20 roll 16 you, sucker. Uh, <laughs> what, what you I, got, I got an 18. Uh, that, was, that was just a straight up 18. I got a zero strength. <laughs> Kriorn, you see, like, coming out from the shed, and you're like welcoming her, you see a frazzled looking Wawa Tessie. Her hair's like all out, out of like her little braid. It's like there's little pieces like singing, sticking out there. She's covered in dirt on one side. She's looks like she's got a little bit of a bruise forming on her shoulder and she just walks up and you almost expect what's coming and you try to like try to uh, flex a little. Doesn't matter. That, that punch to the stomach just takes the wind out of you. Just... <laughs> And you're just standing now, like gasping for air. <laughs> uh, 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 what? What was that for? What was that for? She's gonna like call him an idiot under my breath and just grab some alcohol from somewhere nearby and just start drinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm more confused now than when you came out. <laughs> Harry, you see that all happen from uh, from your your outpost. Your your watchers uh, area. What are you uh, What are you doing? <sighs> this group is fucked. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna know, sit here and wait for for uh, Rock to come back out. Okay. Um, Griorn, how are you? How are you feeling after that punch, bud? Not feeling great. Um, but at the same time, I'm not going to let it stop me from my overall mission of carousing with the folks to see if I can find more information on see here's the thing I would have noticed that the dragon boards are in the crowd now right uh yes so there's, so there's all three of them now are in the okay. crowd so I'm probably not going to outright ask questions about the dragon boards um yeah maybe I'm not going to do any more investigating at all yeah I think I'm just going to enjoy myself um have some more drinks and probably see if we can find somewhere to bed down for the evening okay okay um I mean, Bo's found his place to bed down for the evening. <laughs> Perry could fit in between them. Perry, like his whole just, body in between her boots. You're leaning up against like this post of uh, uh, at the at this uh, general store, and Bo comes out and says, "Perry, you don't understand the bullshit I just had to deal with with Joanne. She." She, she sold me shitty pitons. Look at this. And he holds up one of them and it like, it actually just crumbles. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. So I spent my whole time in there just negotiating to get new ones. And Joanne is always stingy when it comes to returns. Remember that, Perry. Okay. Should we trust this health potion then? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, Perry, I don't really know, but uh, we'll, you know, we'll come across that when the time comes. But all right, <laughs> listen. Um, when you were in there, I did some good work. Good, good work, yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Let's get the group together. Um, okay. Let's go to Erlen's place. He offered a he offered a place to stay. Hey, and you, um, Griorn, uh, and Wawatesi, you hear over the crowd uh, that's starting to slowly die down. Wawatesi, Griorn, come on over here. Hey, on my way. Um, I'm as also, the party begins, I'm gonna, as I'm as I'm going back. I'm going to keep my eye on Wawatessi and give her some distance because I have no clue why she just punched me. Wawatessi is grumbling as she's like just drinking not too far off from you and just like walking with the drink in her hand at I've this seen, point. I've seen some wild manico in my day, but this one, she's the wildest. You see uh, from like a lumber pile out jumps a uh, her sugar glider and just jumps right back into her hair and then just just nuzzles into the side of her and just immediately looks at you. Just got smacked so hard that the sugar glider just no, so the sugar like, retroactively the sugar glider I think obviously flies out of your hair yeah. when you when you shape change. Well, um, I mean if I shape change into something smaller than it then yeah probably but I think yeah. if, if I'm large enough it would stay with me, right? Exactly. Um, but this time, definitely not. Um, <laughs> so, as the night begins to wind down and the group of you walk towards uh, Griorn and uh, Wawa Tessie, this is the first time you'd be walking to it. You're walking to a, uh, an old, a, a, like a smaller farmhouse, and you're greeted by a incredibly tall but hunched over fur bull, and he goes, uh, well, hi there, the Barry. How you doing? Oh, hello. How are you? How was your day? How's your leg? How you feeling? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a lot of questions at once. But guess what? I'm uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, I sorry I didn't join the party, but I could I interest you guys in a place to stay tonight? That would be wonderful. Thank you. All right. Uh, you know, come on in. He lets you in and it's like everything in this house 
is smaller furniture because the ceiling is just normal height for him. So for him to sit comfortably, the chair legs have to be sawed off pretty close to the, the bottom. There's like, sorry for the, uh, the furniture, but you know, it's, uh, and he kind of like puts his hand over his head. He's like, it's a little bit easier for me to get around and enjoy my life here. But make your make yourselves at home. I'm uh, I'm more than happy to uh, keep you around here and uh, you know bed down for the night. I got a few rooms here, but uh, more the merrier. I'm gonna like thank you for your kindness and try and like sit on a <laughs> sit on a chair. <laughs> but, well, Tessa, you're like what six something? I'm six like, foot. <laughs> so he's seven foot. Yeah. So when you sit down, your knees like kind of go up to like just just uh, like just above your belly button, and you're sitting like almost in like a chair that's a little bit more awkward for you. Still grumbling, I'm assuming, and holding the drink and just yeah, drinking. Yeah, I'm, I'm angry. I was I was <laughs> I was smacked around. <laughs> Be angry with yourself. Borok steps in and goes, you know, we uh, my, we we really appreciate you letting us in here uh, for the night, uh, Erlen. Uh, I won't be I won't be forgetting this. Hey, thank you. Um, oh, no problem. Uh, just be uh, yeah, just be careful. Don't 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 mess with the crops, please. I just put the fresh manure out there. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. What kind of manure is it? Cow. Well, I mean, it's cow. Not mine. I'm not a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, gonna. Uh, I, I was gonna pull Brock aside and and, uh, and just say, um, Brock, um, you know what's going on with Wawa Jesse there? Because uh, she just came up in the middle of drinking. Like, she might be a little drunk, I guess, but uh, she punched me right in the gut. And, only I don't stand for those things, but uh, she's uh, she's an odd one, I guess. Uh, I don't I don't roughly know. I know she was gonna maybe change her shape a little bit and go around and look around in the. Uh, Hold on, pot. Put a pin in that. What do you mean, change her shape? I mean, Bo, Bo knew on. that I turned into a rat. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows. He's just he's saying, like, he, you, you do know that Wawa well, Tessie can change her shape yes, and I'm, yes, move around you, places Rock. pretty yes, easily. Okay, listen. Why is that? Why is that around me? Just because I'm shorter than you. I'm always looking at you down. Um, I just, <sighs> did she turn into a rat by chance? Why? Well, yes, she did. Why? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna turn and look at Wawa Tess and be like, "That was you! Damn right, that was me! You idiot! <laughs> I almost had you." And Bo looks around and goes, "Wait, w- wait a second! You guys have to tell me a lot about what happened tonight." And that's where we're gonna end off the episode. <laughs> Perfect, perfect ending. Leave it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> Well, that was a fun session, despite all the little technical issues, little despite hiccups. emergencies and all of that. Listen, uh, it's that's not our typical flow, but it was fun. Uh, before we get out of here, we got to give a big shout out to the few people that uh, joined us for the show. We had a follow by Ethan TRM sub. Vix Draws was here uh, with us from Top Down Tabletop, and uh, she gave us the follow. Rowdy the Rogue has been chatting and following us for a little while now, as well as the big subscription from Havix. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate that. And uh, stay locked. Don't forget to check out our YouTube, youtube.com slash derpwood, where we repost all of this content, but we also have other uh, content constantly going up weekly and uh, yeah is there anything else like that's that's a lot to take in all at once anything else people got to say I mean I could show what I could, I could show the cool swag I got from Wolfie oh yeah yeah we got some time show yeah, the let's... merch okay. show the merch okay. so so this is okay, coming so... from hold on just before we uh, jump into I'm going to say this is from Wolfie and Woo uh, at Wolfie and Woo which is our official sponsor and if you need it if you want to get a 10% discount there use the discount code Dungeons Dragons Dice Inc. I believe that's right. Sorry. Or you can use D&D with D&D no, don't, W me. Don't do that. If you use mine, <laughs> <laughs> if you use mine, then I get one higher up and then that means 
I win yeah. the competition. Or you can use or you can use Somerville vibes, I think. It's I just a vibe now. It's Some just a vibe now because Twitter wouldn't let me put the extra S on it. Twitter. So if you're watching we're Twitter. Coming for you tw- we're coming for you, Twitter. <laughs> but yeah, hashtag get going. Yeah. Okay. Let's so, take a look. Let's take a look at it. Okay. So I got a, I don't know if that helps. I got a merry go fuck yourself <laughs> Christmas themed mug because a uh, little known fact about Chris, he hates Christmas. So I am. It's in your name. Favorite movie is The Grinch. And uh, <laughs> and uh, there we go. So I got that. See, um, Chris the, likes The Grinch, but only like the first three quarters. He doesn't like the end. Yeah, no, the, the Grinch happy turns around. <laughs> oh. Once The Grinch's like, heart just... starts to grow, Chris shuts it off. Yeah, he's like, that's it. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, you're showing off that he can grow three sizes bigger that day. Good for you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Uh, Chris, so Chris the got, paramedic is way. like, there's something wrong with this guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I. That's what I do. I drink and I know things because oh. uh, in real life, I am a hobbit. So there you go. Um, and I got added a cute little picture of my little Spartacus there. Oh, that's and cool. And where's there's Sura there. And and then it's me. So I got a little mug with that. Um, I got uh, a t-shirt. Let's see. I got a t-shirt here. It says, that's what I do. I drink and I know things. So apparently I have a, I drink a lot and I know things. So Smart. there's that. Uh, I got a red version of show me your crits. Hey, show me, me your crits. Show me your crits. And then I got a gift for my friend. Uh, unfortunately, she lost her kitten. Uh, when Went to got, get spayed and then it died. So it was really oh, sad. Oh, wow. Anyways, so I got a little mug. I know I know she's not watching, but I have a gift for you, Christina. So there's little Pepe right there. <laughs> oh, and then little Pepe. Pepe. So little Pepe. Pepe. And little mug. And then she gave me some like magnets that go on the fridge that have Pepe. Cool. And then a little kitty thing. So that's really nice of her to throw that in there because poor little Pepe. Yeah. Oh, but, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. She, so uh, I'm going to give that to Christine next time I see her. I threw her a text being like, yo, girl, when's your next scheduled shift? And then I'm just going to drop off, drop it off to her. So very nice. Um, is that what I got? Oh, and give me a coffee, which is really nice. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh, the camera just went off one second. All courtesy of, well, not the, not the coffee, but all courtesy of Wolfie and Woo. So, yeah, so definitely go and check, check her out, out. On, on Instagram. Uh, that's where she is. Thank you, Jen, it, from but... Wolfie and Woo. Oh, sorry. And I also have this box that she gave me the stuff in, too. And I have a cats. thing with boxes. Well, I do have boxes that cats love. So, yes. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, we do, so we do cool. have to shut down the stream here at some point. Oh, <laughs> now sorry. It's, now it's just summer reveal talks that's yeah. the new podcast <laughs> yeah yeah also speaking of podcasts you can also get a, you can check us out on all the major platforms if you prefer to uh digest your uh dnd content via audio only we are on spotify amazon apple basically anywhere you can get it iheart radio is a big easy place to get your podcast so check that out and uh once again thank you for watching who's gonna take us out today ty's not here I vote Wawa Tessie. Wawa Tessie. Wawa Tessie should, yeah. Thanks for watching another episode. Thanks for watching another episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Dice. Okay, bye. Bye. Out of bounds.